Over to Italy now, where a study has shown that in 2017, migrant was the most frequently used word in the country's newspaper headlines. Against the backdrop of the ongoing refugee crisis, Italy is going to the polls on Sunday, and public opinion seems divided, with right-leaning parties gaining momentum. As we can show you from the chart, uh, Forza Italia and Lega Nord are projected to garner over 30% of the vote. Both parties are known for their tough stance on immigration. This issue remains a key one as the country struggles to deal with the continuing flow of newcomers. RT's Anastasia Cherkina traveled to one Italian town that hopes its approach to migrants will be taken up by the country as a whole. We are in Sesto San Giovanni on the outskirts of Milan in the north of Italy. Once an industrial town, it used to have overwhelmingly communist views, dubbed the Stalingrad of the country. Today, those views have all but vanished. With elections in Italy just around the corner, this place hopes to lead by example in tackling immigration. And tolerance seems to be the last of concerns. Whatever will help the situation must be done. It's very important. In other countries, they are already doing these kinds of things, and no one gets offended, because it is a warranty for us and them. We need to find the best solution possible. First, we need to find out how many migrants we can identify through digital fingerprints and any other systems. Then we need to see if this works. They are human beings, too. But if there are hundreds of thousands coming into Italy every year, we really have a problem. We can't accommodate them. It would be very difficult for this system to work. We are not alone. In France and Germany, the situation is even worse. But they don't have the same level of hate towards migrants that we have here. Most recently, 200 migrants were expelled from here. Plans to build one of the biggest mosques in northern Italy were blocked and works to install facial recognition security cameras are already underway. Lots of cities in Italy ask us how we got it done. Banning the mosque and removing migrants. Other mayors are looking to us for advice. The left had plans to build one of the biggest mosques in northern Italy. This project would have meant turning my city into Italy's Mecca. This was a criminal project that would have turned Sesto San Giovanni into a magnet for Muslims. We started a surveillance project which will check all the entrances and exits to the town based on the Israeli model, including facial recognition and monitoring number plates, so we'll know everyone who enters and leaves our town. I hope so. I hope that after the next election on Sunday, we will have a government in Rome that will do the same we are doing here. In an unpredictable vote, Italy will go to the polls on Sunday. Immigration is a card being played passionately by all sides of the spectrum. So it's who can take lead that will determine whether models like this one will be followed around the country. Reporting from Sesto San Giovanni in Italy, Anastasia Cherkina for RT.